What is the origin of the interfaces? A question occurs in my mind while making the many projects in my life. The interface is originally a term of the physics, a surface forming a common boundary between the two matters. For example, when, a, when, a, when you are a child, you use a soap bubbles and play with the soap bubbles so fun, like this. And this is so beautiful, and they are the interface. Soap bubbles, I, th I thought, if the soap bubbles became the interface, it could be fantastic. fantastic. Adding to that, I'd like to talk about the future of the interface today. And please look at this. If the images on your hands, wasn't it, uh, uh, wouldn't it uh, nice and look cool? And uh, I'd like to talk about the film interface today. And uh, how can I make it? I was, once, I studied on the optical illusion with a high frequency stimulation. And uh, I thought, if I vibrate the soap films with a high frequency, we can control the heat reflectance. After the many experiments, we found that using the ultrasonic waves, we can change the reflectance of the surface. So the soft films became a world's thinnest flexible screen. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and why I make the flexible UI? The appearance of the user interface are square and very hard. So our mind affects the creation and the the appearance of the interface affects my mind. So how, what is the problem? That is uh, how to build the images of the interface or how to release our mind from the interfaces, hard UIs. And moreover, I think that interface designing should be applied to everything, between the everything. And some of you might say, it is just so barbarous and uh, you can't apply to every object of the daily lives. No, no, no. I have ideas. Please look at. This looks like a soap films, but it's not easy to hop. From the viewpoint of the soft film UI, we can redefine the interfaces. And flexible thinking makes the flexible UIs like the colors, flexibility, disposability, or floating like the images. Pardon? What? Oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, for example, we can change the reflectance of the soap films so we can mimic some objects in the real world. So we can express with uh, this screen like the realistic materials. This is a macro and this is a morph butterfly. Adding to that, we can apply it into the polygons so we can make the realistic object in, like the, you see in the CZs. Moreover, we can make it by the different films, we can make it the dynamic texture furniture or transparent screen for the cell phones, like this. Moreover, we make a multi-layered screen. We can control the transparency of the each slide, and it would be used in the multi-layered and 3D screen. Today, I talked about the interface and the my vision of the future interface. And some wild ideas brings you back to the origin. And if it were a fragile like a soap fumes, you must, step, uh, you must make a next step towards the future. There are something in between the future and the past. What is that? What is that? I think it is the interface. It's now and you. Thank you.